we can only add things that are the same. With fractions, that means we can only add fractions with the same denominator, with the same number on the bottom. So we can add thirds to thirds, or quarters to quarters, or fifths to fifths, or sixths to sixths, and so on. So we can only add them when they are the same. The first question says, work out one-fifth plus two-fifths. So if we've got one-fifth of something, one-fifth of this shape, and we add two-fifths, so one part plus two parts means we've got three parts. So one-fifth plus two-fifths is three-fifths. And taking away is the same. So we can only take away fractions with the same denominator. So here we've got three-eighths, take away one-eighth. So if we've got three parts, and we take away one part, that means we've got two parts. So three-eighths, take away one-eighth, is two-eighths. Two-eighths. And if we wanted to simplify this answer, 2 and 8 are both even. They're both in the 2 times table. So we can half the top and the bottom and say that 2 eighths is the same as 1 quarter. Okay, there are two for you to try here. So give these a go. Question 1, work out 2 ninths plus 5 ninths. 2 of something plus 5 of something is 7 of something. And they are ninths. So two ninths plus five ninths is seven ninths. And taking away is the same thing. So six of something, take away two of something is four of something. So six sevenths, take away two sevenths is four sevenths. In these questions, we are being asked to add and subtract fractions with different denominators. The way we do that is to change the fractions using equivalent fractions to make the denominators the same. And then once we've got the denominators the same, we can add or subtract them as before. The first question says one quarter plus three eighths. So we're looking to make the denominators the same which means we're looking for a number in the four times table and the eight times table. So what number is in the four times table and the eight times table? Well, eight, eight is in both the times tables. So if we multiply the top and bottom of one quarter by two, to keep a fraction equivalent, we need to multiply top and bottom by the same thing. So, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, so we're saying 1 quarter is the same as 2 eighths, so we can do 2 eighths plus 3 eighths, 2 of something plus 3 of something is 5 of something, so 2 eighths plus 3 eighths is 5 eighths. For question 2, we're looking for a number in the three times table and the four times table. And we can do this this time by doing three times four. So 12 is in both the times tables because 12 is three times four. So we can multiply top and bottom of two thirds by four and the top and bottom of one quarter by three which will give us eight twelfths plus three twelfths and eight of something plus three of something is 11 of something. So eight twelfths plus three twelfths is 11 twelfths. Question three, we've got three fifths take away two sevenths, but we're gonna follow the same steps. We're gonna make the denominator is the same. And what number is in the five times table and the seven times table? Well, 35 is five times seven. So if we multiply top and bottom of three fifths by seven and top and bottom of two sevenths by five, 
we get 21 35ths minus 10 35ths. So 21 take away 10 is 11. So 21 35ths take away 10 35ths is 11 35ths. Okay, three for you to try. So give them a go. Question one, work out one fifth plus three quarters. So we need to make the denominators the same. And we're going to do that by multiplying the top and bottom of one fifth by four. And the top and bottom of three quarters by five, which will make both of the denominators 20. So we've got four twentieths plus 15 twentieths. 4 plus 15 is 19, so 4 twentieths plus 15 twentieths is 19 twentieths. For question 2, we've got thirds and ninths, and the smallest number in both the times tables this time is 9. So if you did, you could multiply this side 1 third top and bottom by 9, and two ninths top and bottom by three and get 27 on the bottom. You could, and then you could simplify the answer at the end. But the easiest way to do it is to multiply top and bottom of one third by three, which will give us three ninths. And so we've got three ninths plus two ninths, which is five ninths. And question three, this time the smallest number in the six times table and the four times table is 12. So if we multiply five sixths, the top and bottom multiplied by two and one quarter multiply the top and bottom by three, we get 10 twelfths, take away three twelfths 10 take away 3 is 7, so 10 twelfths take away 3 twelfths is 7 twelfths. Here we have some more examples. This time we're looking at fractions that go over 1. So we've got 2 thirds plus 3 fifths. We're going to follow the same steps. We need to make the bottom numbers the same before we can add them. So we can make them both 15 by times in top and bottom of two thirds by five and top and bottom of three fifths by three. So that will give us 10 fifteenths plus nine fifteenths. So 10 of something plus nine of something is 19. So that means we've got 19 fifteenths. And we can see that this goes over one hole. So 15 fifteenths is a whole. If I've got 15 fifteenths, I can say that's one. One whole one. How many more fifteenths do I have? So we've got 15 plus four to make 19. So we can say it's 15 fifteenths and four fifteenths or one whole one and four fifteenths. So we can say the answer is one whole, one and four fifteenths. For question two, we've got one and one quarter, take away two fifths. So we're gonna change the mixed number back into a top heavy fraction so one whole one in quarters is four quarters. So four quarters on one quarter is five quarters. So we can say that one whole one and one quarter, so a whole circle in quarters plus another quarter means we've got five quarters. 
and we're taking away two fifths. So to take these away, we're going to make the denominators the same first. So if we multiply top and bottom by five and top and bottom by four, we can make both the denominators 20. So five fives are 25, five fours are 20. So 25 twentieths take away two fours are eight, five fours are 20. So 25 twentieths take away eight twentieths. 25 take away eight is 17. So we've got 17 twentieths. Okay, two for you to try, so give these ones a go. Question one, work out five sixths plus two thirds. So to add them, we need to make the bottom numbers the same, the denominators the same. And the easiest way of doing that is to make them both out of six. So if we double top and bottom of two thirds, we're going to have five sixths plus four sixths and five plus four is nine so that makes nine sixths and we can simplify that nine and six are both in the three times table so nine is three threes six is two threes so we've got three over two we need to give our answer as a mixed number. We've got a top heavy fraction at the moment. Three is bigger than two, so it's bigger than one. So we can say that two halves make a whole. So we've got two halves plus another half to make three halves. So we've got one whole one and one half. One whole one and one half. Question two, work out one and two sevenths take away three quarters. So we're going to change the mixed number back to a top heavy fraction. So one whole one is seven sevenths. So a whole one is seven sevenths. And we've got seven sevenths and two sevenths. Seven and two make nine. So that's nine sevenths. So a whole one, this whole one, means seven sevenths. So seven sevenths and two sevenths is nine sevenths. So we've got nine sevenths, take away three quarters. To take them away, we need to make the bottom numbers the same. And we can do that by multiplying top and bottom of nine sevenths by four and top and bottom of three quarters by seven. And then both the bottom numbers will be 28. So we have four nines, which is 36, over four sevens, which is 28. Take away three sevens, which is 21, over 28. So 36 take away 21 is 15. So we've got 15 28s. To finish up, we've got three questions here. So pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, two sevenths plus one ninth. We need to make the denominators the same. And we'll do that by multiplying top and bottom of two sevenths by nine, and top and bottom of one ninth by seven. And both the denominators will be the same because nine times seven it's the same as, well, nine times seven, they're both 63. So we have nine times two, which is 18 over 63, plus seven over 63, and 18 plus seven is 25. So we've got 25 over 63. Question two, we're going to multiply top and bottom of two fifths by eight. 
top and bottom of three eighths by five. So they both be out of 40. So two eights of 16 over 40 minus three fives, which is 15 over 40. 16 minus 15 is one. So we've got one 40th. And for question three, we're going to change the fraction into top heavy first, change the mixed number into top heavy. So we've got one whole one, which is five fifths, five fifths and three fifths make eight fifths. So we've got eight fifths, take away five sixths. Now to take away the fractions, we're going to make the denominators the same. So we'll multiply top and bottom of eight fifths by six, top and bottom of five sixths by five, and then both denominators will be 30. We've got eight, six times eight, which is 48. So 48 over 30 minus 25 over 30. 48 minus 25 is 23. So that means we've got 23 30ths.